Hello, I'm Waterstone's Children's Laureate Joseph Coilo, and I love poetry, and I think you can love poetry too. I love animals, and imagining that they could talk. When I think about a lion, I imagine that if it could talk, it would sound a bit like this. I am meat licker, bone cruncher, big meower. I can't walk with pride. My mane is a hairdo of envy. My roar is a rumble of mountains. My claws, a savannah of pain. In that poem, I use some kennings. Kennings are when we put two words together to find a new way to describe something. Usually, but not always, a verb and a noun, or two nouns linked together with a hyphen, so a little dash. So in this poem, the line becomes a meat liquor and a big meower. I'm creating new words to describe the lion by sticking two words together. When I was performing the poem, I put on a voice, a deep, heavy voice, a voice that I think would suit a lion. Maybe I could have a go with a different animal. How about a frog? I leap, I croak. I am the friend of witches. I hop, I leap. I'm often found in ditches, in ponds, in lakes, and even under logs. Some say I'm green and warty, but I'm a smooth, yule-skinned frog. In that froggy poem, I've used a little bit of rhyme. Witches rhymes with ditches and log rhymes with frog. I haven't used any kennings in the poem because I didn't feel like it. When I was performing the poem, I made my voice a little bit croaky and slow because that's how I imagine a frog could sound. Why don't you have a go at creating your own little animal poems? You can write them for any animal you like, real or made up, like a unicorn or even a dragon. You can write the poem however you like, you could use some rhyme if you want, or maybe some kennings, or simply stick to the animal describing the sorts of things it does on a normal day. When your poem is ready, have a go at reading it out loud, but not in your normal voice. You have to change your voice. Think about the animal. Is it big or small? Do you think it would have a deep or a high voice? Would it speak fast or slow? Remember, you can't get it wrong. These are your animal poems and you are the boss. Ah, that's the poetry power up sound, which means it's time for an extra challenge for your poem. I would like you to create a zoo of animal poems. You could do this individually, writing poems for several different animals, or you could work with friends and classmates, creating poems for all the different animals you might find in a zoo. What are the penguins talking about? What do the mongooses sound like? What is the gossip in the spider tank? When you have your poems, perform them. Get other people to visit your poetic animal zoo. Good luck and happy writing.